I had a mom who was very strong and refused to accept discrimination. And I had a, fa a stepfather, because my dad was, was killed, murdered when, in 36. And um, he accepted discrimination. And um, my mother always challenged it. And it, it used to embarrass me. I, I used to wonder, why is she doing that? that you know, my feeling was like my dad's. Don't you know we're Filipinos? In other words, don't you understand that we're second-class citizens? And, and, and then I'd look around, there'd be a lot of other different little things. Um, I had to go to the store for my mom because we had a large family and never being waited on um, until somebody would take pity on me and say, this little girl was standing here. So all these things are in your psyche. You're, you, you become, if you're real sensitive like I was, you become neurotic. And um, and I think with a lot of us, what was happening, and we were talking about civil rights and everything, I think during the 40s, the 30s and 40s, all of these things were coming in on us. It either made you very introverted and accepting like my stepfather was, or it makes you ripe to get very angry when the time is right. And this is precisely what happened with the civil rights thing. I mean, one day some people said, that's enough. <laughs>